What's up everybody? Welcome back to the next installment of Up Late with C and D. I am your host for tonight, Christian, with my co-host, Denzel. And tonight we are going to talk about games that would make for good or interesting live action movies. If you missed last week, um, we were talking about games that would make bad live action movies. And we did kind of get off subject. But that's what it's all about. I told you guys on Facebook this is going to be, you know, that type of thing. So just be prepared for it. But um, like he said, tonight we're getting into the opposite list that we created. And we had friends also help. So um, without further ado, the host of tonight will give us number one. And number one is... Number one would be Fallout. Now, Fallout, if you don't know, takes place, you know, apocalyptic, wasteland world, survival. Go ahead and paint that picture. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful world. Beautiful world. If you uh, like getting destroyed by uh, Death Claws, yes. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's the best kind of time. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> that's the- the best kind of music, the best kind of, you know, yes. nuclear waste everywhere. Yes. That's <laughs> that, that is paradise, man. That, that sounds awful. That, sounds, that, that is the ideal future. That sounds terrible. <laughs> but it would it would make for an interesting movie because I don't think there are too many decent movies out there that take place in this type of setting. Uh, they're like... Like you said, there's not too many decent ones that I feel like I feel like there's not too many decent ones that uh, not too many movies that do it justice. There, they, we've had plenty of movies that take place in a, a like a post-apocalyptic or an apocalyptic type setting, but they don't really they wouldn't really do it as much justice as a Fallout movie would. A Fallout movie would be incredible, especially like could you imagine if in the movie they allowed you to. Uh, you know the character was like using mods or whatever like that'd be crazy right like <laughs> that would be so like that'd be off the wall you just like, find somebody all of a sudden they just, you just come out with all this stuff and they just look at you like where the, where, where the hell did you get this man <laughs> where'd you get this guy at? <laughs> oh yeah i put in the chico chico what the hell <laughs> but that would be uh that would be pretty creative so fallout definitely uh we had to throw on the list I just felt like, you know, that would, I was like, yeah, that could actually do pretty well. But the uh, number two on the list, actually, it would be two and three if we actually separated them. But I figured since they're part of like the same group, I would just throw them together. And that would be Ico and Shadow of the Colossus. Those two games alone would make amazing movies. Um, I really don't even feel like I should have to expand on it, but if you don't know what the games are, please just go look them up. It will take me way longer to explain uh, why they will make amazing movies and why, you know, you should choose them as, you know, from being a game. They're just, I mean, I don't know, they're, they're, they're perfect. Shadow of Colossus, guy killing giant beasts to bring some random girl back to life, and... He gets banished into that world where there's just like I mean it's just it's crazy as hell like it's like David and Goliath on steroids. Right, best way to put it. <laughs> just, just except for uh, David had a horse and he thought that Goliath killed his horse. <laughs> 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 and just, then just this tiny human-sized dude going over this this is building-sized skyscraper size creature and uh Ico was um a kid with i don't know if he was like i, I haven't really got gotten a chance to uh i haven't had a chance to really like dive into the game yet but i don't know if it was a child with actual horns or a child that had horns on a helmet but he's guiding a uh, a woman in just like pure white she looks like she's just uh almost like not even living but somehow he's able to grab her hand and he has to guide her through this land to wherever uh, they end up reaching I, like I said I haven't finished that game yet but um, still taking my time with it 
Uh, but yeah, that would be our number two and three. You know, we put it like I said, we put it together. So that's our number two. Shout out the Colossus and Ico, both phenomenal games from what I've seen so far myself and what I've heard from people. Uh, the third one on that was uh, what was the the other one that came out not too long ago? Um, something Guardian, The Last Guardian. So I think they were saying that was supposed to be like the third one or I don't know if it was supposed to be third one or the first one or whatever their order is. But uh, all three of those honestly would be phenomenal movies. I'm not, not saying that the games are bad, but I would love to see them as a movie because they're, you know, just that good. So uh, coming in at number three, though, would be this would be another two parter in the form of Grand Theft Auto. Vice City and San Andreas. Okay, Grand Theft Auto. You said Vice City and San Andreas. Yes. That would be some dope stuff to just go from like, well, I guess like two separate movies, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm wondering who would you get to play Tommy in Vice City, and who would you get to play uh, CJ in San Andreas, right? Like, who who would be your go-to actors for them, like? Well, who who could you think of? Oh lord, I don't, I don't even know. Like Tommy, just angry, super angry dude. Just CJ, just like crazy bad mouth with you know just not even giving a shit about whoever it is. Just literally fuck the police. Like that's how he felt the whole game. And fuck the police, right. fuck everybody. I don't know. That that that'd be interesting to see who the, who they would get to play those two parts. Just just to start, who would who would who would they have to play the two parts? Right. And I mean, then you have like all the other characters, the uh, lawyer in Vice City, uh, and then you have Lance, uh, Tommy's like supposedly buddy, and then they end up like killing each other at the end. Like that would be crazy. Like just to imagine those as a movie, San Andreas as a movie, Vice City as a movie. That would be. I couldn't really even like imagine it a hundred percent, but just thinking about it, like that would it, would it would be a really two really good movies like back to back. I almost feel like they would be up there with like a Rush Hour. Like Rush Hour movies are just so good. Like yeah. I feel like they would yeah, be like yeah. yeah, they would be up there somewhere. You think if they ever made a movie, would they add in like parts where you just randomly either shooting random civilians and running them over into cars. Yeah, so, like, I don't know. Like, how violent would they make the movie? Like how that's, violent would you allow the movie to, to be? be? Right, right. Yeah, that's... I would be very happy if there was just a random scene in the movie where they were just, like, just, just, just randomly got out the car and just started randomly yeah. shooting things. Oh, my god! That would just add to this... That would just add to the realism of what you yeah what you get to do in the game that would be crazy like San Andreas could you imagine like if they were or once again if they were able to put in cheat codes and you could do you could put in the super punch cheat code where it like launches people into the air like you just hang it out with your crew and all of a sudden a, a damn super tank punch, just right. drops down drops down oh man that would be crazy like <laughs> that would be the most crazy shit ever like you, you see the movie start and the main character like just like moves just like a little bit for the cheat code to activate and he goes from skinny to buff <laughs> that'd be nuts right <laughs> like that'd be so crazy but that definitely would be dope so another two-parter vice city of san andreas that would be amazing um so number four on the list it would be uh army of two now army of two is a game that I personally enjoy. I, I don't did, know about I did, everybody I, else. I did have fun playing those games. They, I feel the making this a movie would be a lot easier than any other movie, uh, any other game that we we'll, we would have on either list. I feel like this would be so easy for them to do, just because a majority of the movie is like, um, you know, your basic stuff you see in our in military type movies. You see the weapons. The armor the most creative thing they could do is the masks and the scenery for like uh, some of the spots that you have to go to in the games um, it'll be crazy seeing like two masked dudes running around with golden guns and just 
you know like it'll be cool though like like it's a cool concept because in the game one of you can actually draw all the aggro and your body glows red from drawing the aggro and the other person glows like a cool like white because they end up just being ghosts and they can run around and do stuff so it would be like a pretty cool concept if they were to add everything from the game into the movie i'm not sure exactly how how you know realistic it would be for me to draw the aggro and stuff like that right see but overall that would be a pretty badass movie you just got these two dudes just taking out cartels and he's just laying waste to everything that gets in front of me that will be pretty cool though because i mean even in the the devil's cartel the third one they had uh bob and i think it was big boy as the other two new people that showed up that you had seen so that would be cool too to like be able to see the two of them in the movie if they were able to get them like that would be that would be pretty dope so uh army of two definitely i loved I love the first two games. The third one, not so much, but the first two, they were they were still pretty good to get a decent pass for me. So number five on our list is Saints Row. And we put down, this is another double. I know you hate us, but this is another double. This is Saints Row 1 and this is Saints Row 2. I put these two specifically because I felt Saints Row 1 and 2 were the better two games of the Saints Row series. And it had more of a realistic feel. It was about like a turf war, about gangsters, about, uh, you know, underground type stuff, you know, crime, the drugs, the paying off cops, uh, you know, everything. It was, it was just really, it was really deep for, for that type of game. Like, I mean, you would just think it was like some basic game, like you're just running around killing people, but it actually had like a really good story to it, so. Could you imagine them even attempting to make Saints Row 4? Like, I know, I couldn't, I honestly could barely imagine them attempting to make these two just because it still had a great deal of unrealistic stuff you could do, like, I mean, it, it was crazy, like you had a pimp cane that was a shotgun, like, <laughs> just, just. Like some off the wall type stuff like that. So I mean, I mean, hell, go back, classic movie, you know, Batman Returns. Dude had a damn umbrella that was a gun. I, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, that can be done. Then yes, yeah, that definitely can. But other than that, I, like I said, they were they were the two best out of the series, uh, the most normal games out of the series, I should say. Normal. <laughs> I can't stress that enough if you've never played Saints Row. <laughs> Anything after the second one is just like you uh, they, they they just decided to have fun. Right. Like, like you know instantly after that, like, okay, yeah, they just they got bored. Like they they didn't care at all. Like that's cool. Like story and yeah. let's just let's just have some cool shit. Zombies like that one person in the conference room was just like, How about an island full of zombies? Done. Do it. Let's do it. Done. Like, what? Why? No. Just, what is this? Aliens? Anybody? Aliens? Like, what the, what the hell are you guys doing? How did you go from the gangster game to aliens and simulators? <laughs> what the? <laughs> what the shit? But yeah, so Saints Row, uh, <laughs> that, would, that would be our number five. Uh, uh, number six game would be... Uh, it is Dead Space. Now... I really don't think we need to elaborate why this would be a good movie. <laughs> this, this begins our our limited series of more interesting than good movies because yeah, this wow. it gets crazy. Like Dead Space, if you God, like I can't imagine you've never heard of or seen anything Dead Space related. It is literally the game. That was titled like your kid should not play this. Nah. You don't you don't want your kid to play this like moms were like totally against it. Like, I don't want my kid playing this game. It's very gory, extreme it's extremely scary. If you've never seen any of their even their movies, like I watched the animated movie, I had like nightmares for like weeks. Yeah. I was just like mm. I, it really freaked me out. I was like, dude, like this is some really scary shit. I mean like, hell, just just uh, the damn poster for the movie was just a random ass floating chopped off arm in space right 
Yes, well, yeah, same thing for the game. That was the cover of the freaking game. But yeah, like a, a live action movie of this, it would be really, like, if it's done properly, it would be really scary. Like, like that's just... That would be a return to true... I don't even want to fathom, movies. like, how scary this would be. This would, yeah, like you said, this would be the return of true horror movies. Like, you can't even... I don't I don't see anything surpassing it if it's done properly. It's really it's really it's scary, just, like if the right people get control of this movie and they get the right kind of budget and you know, production behind it. Right. That would be the craziest shit. But well, once again, like he said, the right people, right budget. So all of this is literally just us, you know, speculating on what would be good. Is you still have to determine who would get their hands on the movie, if they have enough money, if they get the right people. So I mean, still, it's just kind of a, like a what if or maybe type thing. But uh, Dead Space would be scary as hell. Uh, I'm never watching another animated movie. I have yet to play the first game again. So that should just speak for it right there. <laughs> uh, but the next game on the list is Manhunt. Just let you take this one. <laughs> My God, that that game. <laughs> oh, man, who you were just wow. Scariest. Like, dude, these are like the goriest horror. Like, okay, the the like he said, the next. It was our next, like two after Dead Space. Like they're very gory, uh, very like just extremely violent for no reason. Like these these would be. Perfectly in the helm of, like you said before we started the video, the Quentin Tarantino and the dudes who made the song <laughs> right. got, got together, got and together made and made a movie. It would be That's it. at least one of these three movies. Mm -hmm. And Manhunt, my Jesus, I could definitely see that happening with Manhunt. There's some really sadistic torture stuff in there some crazy stuff i mean manhunt got banned if you guys didn't know it got banned in a lot of places um not just because people were feeling soft like it legitimately had a reason to get banned just like the game that came out on pc where you literally just go around and kill people that is your goal your goal is to kill as many people as you can before you get killed by the cops and that game also got banned i don't really remember the name but you can I'm sure Google has it. You can look it up. But Manhunt is also one of those games where it's like, hey, they were like, either you have to tone it down, or if you release the this version, it has to have this rating on it. So yeah. I mean, even then, some places just still didn't accept it with the toned down version because it was still just too much. I, I played this game back when. Camera. I was pretty young when I played it and I was just like, there's there's no way I am ever playing this game after dark <laughs> with the lights off by myself. <laughs> ever. Ever. <laughs> and I feel like if they were to make this movie, I would probably feel the same way. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I'll watch it by myself. Yeah, Manhunt, Dead Space. I'm not up for it. Just I really don't even think I would watch either one of those if they did them right. Because I already know how like crazy they would be. I would watch them just to see if they did it right. And then never watch them again. I think I'd just take somebody else's like opinion on it. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't watch it. Somebody's like, yeah, those are like really scary. I'm like, alright. Yeah, so you just send somebody to a theater and be like, alright, Send somebody this. there to watch it. Like, yeah. just come out, you just tell them their ticket the yeah. if, they, if they did it right. Like, it's like, yeah. 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 Like, I just look at your pants and if I see like piss right there in that area, like, yeah, they did it right. Okay. If you can, 10 second synopsis. Okay. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> like, not only did you put me on the spot, but I'm just like, I really don't know what to say. Like, I would literally just shit myself. 
You just just end this asylum. You're escaping, and everything is trying to kill you, and you kill it instantly. No. <laughs> Okay, but uh, that's the, not enough. The next, the next that, one. That's not nearly enough. I would just shit myself, like <laughs> literally just shit myself, so everything doesn't come close. Like, what is that shit over there? Like, like no. Like no. But the uh, next one on the list, uh, another one of our gory ones. It's not as bad as the previous two, but it still is up there, uh, and that would be Gears of War. I could easily see Gears of War being done properly. Uh, I mean, somebody doing that game justice. Um, I would love to see the Lancer in action. Something getting chainsawed in half. I mean, if you can put a damn chainsaw on a rifle slash shotgun slash whatever the <laughs> fuck else weapon they have. Yes. They got the Nasher. They got the, the fucking Lancer that has the chainsaw. They got the snub pistol. They got the Boltock. The boom shot. The hammer of dawn. Hammer of dawn. God. I damn, love the Hammer of Dawn. I hate that damn I, thing. I love that weapon. The thing so is much. torture and freaking Gears of War. I, I, I love that gun so much. But clearly, I mean, Gears of War, uh, most of you should definitely know that. That's, you know, Xbox's, that's Microsoft's, like, main, one of their main, like, big games uh, when 360 was released. Uh, and it just ended up taking off. Got Game of the Year every time until Judgment came out. And, uh, you know, Judgment was their, that was their bad one, of course. Everybody has their bad one. So, uh, yeah, but it was, it was very, very good game. I could clearly see it being a good movie. I could also clearly see the character in the game, Baird, being played by Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> <laughs> and I could also see Coltrane being played by Terry Crews. <laughs> If it was anybody but Terry Crews, I, I would actually be disappointed. Well, I don't know. There's a couple. There's a couple big ass black people, but they don't have Terry Crews energy. Yeah. So yeah, that, that, that's the main part of Terry Crews. Yeah, you, get Terry that, Crews you get Terry Crews. You, you get, get the that whole Terry Crews package. Energy. Yeah, you get all of that. You get the man because he's so like full of energy. I'm like, dude, how do you how do you live? Like, how do you function? What do you do with your life to be so energetic? But could you imagine just a live action version of the Hammer Down? You just point the damn thing at something, and all of a sudden that'd be fucking it, crazy. It just shoots. It, you just pan up to space with a damn satellite. Satellite and just Ooh. that would be nuts. Like that would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. And it would be really cool to see like even some of the the baddies uh, with the CGI or with like however good the people are with makeup. Because dude, I would love to see a Berserker. Just like super tough skin, butt ass naked. <laughs> like it would be, I would love to see like how they do the makeup because that's like it seems like it would be a challenge, but it looks it would look so freaking cool. Those uh, they would look cool. General Rom would look cool. Uh, seeing Mira, she would look cool as hell. I mean, even the Cantus, like dude, it would, it would be so many like creative ways to do the makeup. But yeah, so we definitely could see Gears of War. Uh, up next is a game that the host has recently played. Uh, I played them not too long ago. Um, um, probably like halfway through last year, I played them. And that is Uncharted. Now, at this point in time, I've only made it mostly through the first one. But I can easily see that if it's handled the right way, it would be a pretty, pretty good movie. Who would you cast as Nathan Drake? Oh, God. Oh, damn it. Don't, don't ask me that. <laughs> Who would you cast as Sully? Don't ask me that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you just put on a spout post. I mean, like, I feel, I feel like there would be... There's really, there's a lot of people that I would pick, but I can't like think of one person, like one at a time. But that 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 would, that would take some that would take some thought. Right. You'd sit there and be like, okay, who is Nathan Drake? Right. Like who would it be? And I don't think 
the answer would come until they actually made it. I just definitely know it shouldn't be Tom Cruise. No. Like, Nathan Drake is packed full of emotion, and Tom Cruise is the most emotionless actor that I've seen. Yeah. Like, his screams sound like he's having fun. <laughs> Only time you ever get a solid emotion and it's the wrong one. <laughs> so Tom Cruise would definitely be a no for me uh, for Uncharted. Like that's nah, like I'm I'm good. You guys can uh you can keep that. But Uncharted uh one two or three hell. I mean even the uh, the fourth and the one after that that had the two women. It was telling more of their story. I could honestly see any of them being done right. Uh, it's essentially Laura Croft, uh, you know. So it's it's Tomb Raider except for with a guy, and uh, a lot more comedy versus half naked woman. I mean, you know, one kind of outweighs the other. Clearly, you know, the guy outweighs the half naked woman. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so I mean, still like I could I could see it being entertaining though. Uh, Definitely. Uncharted is a very beautiful game if you haven't played it. A um, lot of lot of uh, gorgeous settings. Um, I mean, hell, like, you could honestly just tell people, they ask you about what Uncharted is, beautiful waterfalls. But that's all you gotta say, beautiful waterfalls. I just, I just keep going. Whenever I think of Uncharted now, I just think of very early in the game when you find that, uh, that Nazi ship. Yeah. Is just that stuck in that first, waterfall. Yeah. And just like, I was like, wow, beautiful, beautiful waterfalls. I, was, I, I sat there and just looked at that. See, yeah, beautiful waterfalls. That's uncharted. But up next, we have a game that I hold dear because uh, I played this game on. Damn, I played this game on GameCube, Xbox, and PlayStation Two, and that was uh, Freedom Fighters. Freedom Fighters was quite an incredible game. Uh, if you never got to play it, if you never um, heard of it, please look it up. Amazing game. It would be an incredible movie. It is essentially about a resistance um, trying to uh, fight back the Soviets. And uh, it's a long, tough fight for them. They have to make bases underground, move from place to place. Uh, people that the main character cares about, they get captured, uh, tortured. Uh, he loses people. And um, if I'm not mistaken, I think his brother dies like right in the beginning of the game. So yeah, it's pretty. Uh, I can see it being a pretty good movie if done properly. But um, definitely, I would pick Freedom Fighters to be a good live action movie. Um, I don't really have too much more to say about that. Like I said, if you don't really know most of the stuff, you can look them up, and it'll give you a better description if you feel ours isn't good enough. Um, so, with that being said, from Freedom Fighters, we are going to the next game, and that will be Dead to Rights. Dead to Rights. Dead to Rights. Why could you see this being a good live action movie? Well, I mean, it follows, you know, <coughs> excuse me. It's one of those type deals where you're a cop and come onto a crime scene. Right. You know, basic, you know, one of the movie, number of movies start out like this. You know, your cop coming to For the sure. Scene. Yeah, your basic type of intro. Somebody that the cop cares about is dead on the scene of the crime, and the cop has something in his brain that just snaps. And he's you like, go look. rogue and just handle shit. On himself. your own, because you know it'll take way too long. It's one of those, and that's why I could definitely see it being a good live action movie. Because, I mean, it's one of your movies that they've done before, except for I feel like this one would be a little bit better than one of those basic ones just because of the characters, just because of, uh, you know, their background, the detail about them. Um, I mean, the game itself, un unbelievable game. Good enough for a second one, so. You just go in and handle business like a dude from Taken 1. You just say, fuck it. I will kill you. <laughs> I will protect myself. <laughs> <laughs>
the Family Guy uh, one. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I could definitely see Death Rights being pretty good. Like I said, it was good enough. The game was good enough to have a second one, Dead to Rights and Dead to Rights 2. Um, both good from what I've played so far. I'm actually new to both of the games, but from what I've played so far, they're they're pretty incredible. So, uh, But up next on the list, we have a game called Time Splitters. Pretty sure most people have heard about this game because this game also came out for Xbox Original, GameCube, and PS2. Um, so, <clears throat> Time Splitters is about a, uh, the main character, I forgot his name, what is it, uh, it's like, not Marcus, I can't forget it, I keep forgetting his name, uh, but the main character, uh, he has to travel back through time in order to fix the current situation, you know, I mean, you've heard about that in a lot of movies, uh, but this one seems a little bit more... Like it would be a little like it would be a little bit better because uh, he's very vulgar uh, doesn't really give a shit about you know what he says who he meets what he's doing as long as he's you know getting to what getting to the point he needs to get to which is fixing what's going on in his time and uh, yeah I mean it's just I could definitely see it happen I could definitely see Vin Diesel playing the main character pitching that from what I showed you, from what from what I've from what little I've actually seen of this game, I he, he looks just incredibly like Vin Diesel. Like I'm, he looks like Vin Diesel. Like from I'm Riddick. pretty sure this is like an unreleased detail of the game, but Vin uh, Diesel did a lot of character. Work he this game. yeah, he looks like Vin Diesel from a uh, not not the Riddick. He looks like Vin Diesel from a uh, Pitch Black when he had the little goggles on. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what he looks like. Um, but yeah, uh, that's like that's the reason why I can see it. It, it would be like an interesting type of interesting type of movie. Uh, even though, like I said, there's a lot of them like that, but still, it would just be the fact that it'd it's be like one the of game. The, it'd be like one of the first time travel based movies where beating yourself doesn't break the universe. break anything, right? Like it doesn't erase you or anything because he does meet himself in the game, so it's uh. It, w it would be interesting but uh last but not least for this video and that is star wars republic commando star wars republic commando now up to this point i say up to this point because who knows what's happening in the future but i have not seen a truly terrible star wars based movie i've seen some not as good as other Star Wars movies. Of course, of course, everybody has have, their favorite. But I haven't seen just a straight up terrible Star Wars movie. I honestly don't see them messing this up though either because Star Wars Republic Commando, if it became a movie, it would focus solely on a <clears throat> group of clones, four different clones, they have their own unique set of skills and abilities uh, that uh, that assist the others. That way, they can progress through the story and make it to whatever their uh, their goal is. Like I don't see them messing this up just because it is Star Wars, uh, and I, I think that would be like a really cool like take on Star Wars, seeing it from a side where. If you see a Jedi, it's not because, you know, they're always around. If you see a Jedi, it's just because you ran across a Jedi. But the main focus is on the Stormtroopers. Um, well, the, not Stormtroopers, they're the clones. So, <clears throat> but Which is an interesting take, which is because in terms of the movies, we haven't seen that. No, we have not. That would be, that would be extremely interesting just to see that those four, that little squad running around and causing some chaos and uh you know trying to fix whatever it is that they need to to get to because the closest i could think of in terms of perspective of stormtrooper was that brief time when finn was a stormtrooper and he bitched out pretty early yeah yeah i definitely uh 
that would be like the only thing that I could remember to. I mean, well, uh, I think like the only time we've really seen <clears throat> like the stormtroopers clones think for themselves uh, was when was the short period of time where Obi Wan constantly went into battle with uh, Commander Cody. Commander Cody and there was a uh, I think Commander Rex was the other one and they constantly were in battle they were like the main two clones that always survived they always knew how to fight properly and that was like the most we had seen on the take of the uh, the clones actually being able to think for themselves or just them by themselves versus actually seeing them with the Jedi so I mean uh, it could be it could definitely be interesting they can maybe use this movie to explain why stormtroopers can't aim for shit yeah i definitely don't understand that like how do you go from clones that are like dead eye working for the republic and then like after that they just like what if they do that they just transitioned into well now uh you know the sith rules everything so clones don't have to do target practice or something like they just sat around and <laughs> they yeah. sat around doing nothing just drinking and playing cards and then they're like hey uh we got some rebels they're like ah fuck we haven't practiced in years <laughs> and, they, why, and why do they have such flimsy armor like come on man freaking <laughs> Freaking Ewoks are able to throw Ewoks to beat the shit out of you with rocks. Like with bro. rocks, like yeah, like they're able to throw rocks and you you lose. The Power Rangers are better protected <laughs> than the damn, the damn stormtroopers, and the Power Rangers are wearing spandex. They're wearing spandex that and somehow give off sparks right. whenever they get hit. Oh. <laughs> Very good comparison. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I couldn't believe that crap, man. But uh, yeah, so that is the um, few that we'll give you out of this list. Uh, definitely looking forward to the next one that we do. This one actually ran a little bit longer than the first one. So the next one we'll definitely try to still keep it short, even though this one wasn't too bad. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the second video uh, if you did like share subscribe um, you know comment tell your friends tell your uncle you know tell your aunt whatever you know your dog maybe your dog wants to watch listen you know, I don't know. maybe your cat hell no, I mean if, no cats are dead, so not you have a you have a uh, <laughs> guinea pig maybe you know maybe yeah, yeah. maybe a mouse they're not um, doing nothing all day no no they're just sitting there they're just um, chill. yeah they're, they're chill. just just put point tv yeah yeah you know there. just yeah i mean have it on the back whoever whoever you know you feel might enjoy our little rants uh our conversations just let them know i mean definitely share though uh but yeah uh really i'm really loving these these are nice glad we're getting to do this i uh, hope you guys also enjoy them <clears throat> be sure to follow us on facebook if you're already following us on facebook be sure to subscribe to us on youtube because up late with c and d is going to be here to stay for a little while hope you guys always tune in grab a snack and listen up um but yeah with that being said this was games that would be great live action movies once again i am your co-host denzel and this is your host christian so we will see you guys next time and uh i hope you tune in stay frosty